Fireballs, missing tires and driving into your own mechanics. These F1 pit stops had it all. You're watching Racers Reverie, and these are 20 of the worst F1 pit stops ever. First up is one of the most catastrophic mistakes ever, straight from the 2007 season. Japanese driver Kazuki Nakajima was making his Formula 1 race debut at Into Lagos in the Brazilian Grand Prix. He was driving for Williams, and when he was tasked with making his first ever pit stop, it was far from smooth. He locked up his front tire and overshot his marks, driving straight into two of his mechanics. He lifted them off their feet, sending one flying over his front tire and knocking the other to the ground with a nasty hit. Nakajima apologized for the error, but I'm sure that didn't make the mechanics feel any better. Another ridiculous moment from the 2007 season happened to the Super Aguri team at the Canadian Grand Prix. This race will forever be etched into the history of Formula 1 for a few reasons. One of them being this bizarre incident involving the Super Aguri driver Anthony Davidson. Davidson was holding a brilliant third place for this lower ranked team when disaster struck. He hit a groundhog on track just before entry to the pit lane. This forced him to pit immediately to fix the damage, giving his team no time to get ready. So when he arrived in his pit box, his team had no idea that he was sitting outside their garage. The mechanics were nowhere to be seen and left Davidson stranded in the pits for what seemed like an eternity. The look on the mechanics' faces when they realized what happened was priceless, but when he finally got back on track, all hopes of a podium finish were gone. And he finished in a disappointing 11th place. And while we're talking about long, super delayed pit stops, it doesn't get much worse than this one. In the Malaysian reign of the 2001 Grand Prix, Ferrari decided to pit both of their drivers at the same time in what is known as a double stack. But the goal of a double stack is to not delay either car, which is exactly what Ferrari didn't do. Rubens Barrichello's stop was extremely slow, so when Michael Schumacher drove into the box behind him, he found Barrichello still there. Schumacher had to park his car and wait for the mechanics to finish his teammate's pit stop while he sat in an agonizing wait, watching on from behind. His stop took 1 minute and 12 seconds, and both drivers felt the pain of Ferrari's mismanagement that day. Next time, boys, have the tires ready. Unfortunately for the Sauber Ferrari team at the 2012 British Grand Prix, having the tyres ready was the least of their worries. Kamui Kobayashi was making a scheduled pit stop and everything seemed to be under control, until it wasn't. When Kobayashi braked and turned into his pit box, he completely misjudged it and drove in far too fast. He missed his marks by half the width of the car and drove straight into his mechanics. They tried to jump out of the way at the last second, but it was too late. He hit three of them, sending them flying into the air and over the front of his car. He even knocked the Jackman to the ground for good measure, making it one of the most uncomfortable pit stop moments ever. There wasn't much comfort in this pit stop from 2002 either. Juan Pablo Montoya was racing in the Spanish GP and was getting serviced by his Williams team when this happened. He was getting fresh tires and a refuel, but that seemed to cause a bit of confusion for the man with the stop-go sign. When the tires were changed, the car was let down onto the ground, but the mechanic at the front lifted the stop-go sign too early because the car was still being refueled. Montoya drove away with the hose still attached, pulling the fuel man along with him and driving over the mechanic with the stop go sign. The mechanic's leg got caught under the front wheel, and it was obvious straight away that he was in huge pain. The other mechanics rolled the car off his leg and had to carry him back into the garage. I'm sure he paid more attention to the fuel hose the next time. Another Spanish pit lane disaster happened to Antonio Giovinazzi in 2021. 
Alfa Romeo almost gave Giovinazzi the perfect pit stop, but at the very last second, the front left tire changer noticed that the new tire was already flat. In F1, all four tires must be from the same set, so every tire had to be changed again. The mechanics were left scrambling for a new set of tires in the garage, and Giovinazzi was forced to sit in his car as chaos unfolded around him. By the time everything was sorted out, his pit stop was over 50 seconds long. It completely completely ruined his race, but as they say, anything can happen in F1. And when they say that anything can happen, it also means driver error. Lewis Hamilton found this out in the Malaysian Grand Prix in 2013, when he made a strange mistake. After spending six years with McLaren in F1, he switched to Mercedes in 2013, but on this day, he seemed to have momentarily forgotten that. Instead of pulling into the Mercedes box, he took a drive into the stand of his old team McLaren instead. Luckily for him, Mercedes was just two garages further up in the pit lane, so he was able to drive on and pull into the correct box. It was one of the funniest F1 pit stop mistakes ever, and shows that even these top athletes can have a lapse in concentration. But when it comes to this next pit stop, there was nothing funny about it. It was the opposite, in fact, especially for the Ferrari team and their driver. Felipe Massa was in a tight battle for the championship, and everything needed to go smoothly in the 2008 Singapore Grand Prix. But when he pitted for tires and fuel, the opposite happened. When Massa pulled away, the fuel hose didn't disconnect from his car, and he drove off with it still attached. He dragged it down the pit lane and was forced to stop before re-entering the track. The incident cost him a crazy amount of time and had serious implications in his championship fight. It's an example of a tiny mistake costing a team dearly, highlighting the importance of a clean pit stop. And if you're enjoying this so far, please hit subscribe for more of the best motorsports content. It's back to driver error in this next one with this chaotic pit lane incident. The Hungarian Grand Prix of 2011 was already a dramatic race thanks to its wet, changing conditions. And because of this, one of the race's most memorable moments was when rookie Jerome D'Ambrosio came in for his pit stop. The driver for Virgin Racing was pulling into his box, when out of nowhere he lost control of his car and spun it in the pit lane. He almost hit his mechanics, but luckily they were just far enough away. And fortunately for him and his team, his mechanics were able to put him back into position and complete his pit stop. He was lucky it didn't end worse after this bizarre moment. Kimi Raikkonen's fiery incident in the Brazilian pits in 2009 was bizarre too, and stands as one of the wildest pit stop moments in Formula 1 history. On the first lap of the race, Raikkonen damaged his front wing and came into the pits for repairs. But as Raikkonen was exiting, fellow Finn Heike Kovalainen pulled out of his box with the fuel hose still attached to his McLaren. The hose dragged in front of Raikkonen's car and threw fuel all over the pit lane and Raikkonen's car. His Ferrari ignited immediately, and he was engulfed in flames. Luckily, it extinguished itself after a few seconds and Kimi was unharmed. It's another example of how an innocent bystander can still be caught in the crossfire of another car's bad pit stop. But Brazil 2009 wasn't the only time that Kimi Raikkonen was caught in the crossfire. The 2008 Canadian Grand Prix featured a chaotic incident in the pit lane that saw a collision between Lewis Hamilton, Kimi Raikkonen, and Nico Rosberg. Hamilton was leading the race when he pitted, but when he exited his box, he didn't see the red light at the end of the pit lane, which means you must stop before re-entering the track. He didn't hit the brakes in time and rammed the back of Raikkonen's Ferrari, who was sitting still at the pit exit. The impact then spun Raikkonen's car into Rosberg, who was waiting beside him to exit. It was complete carnage and a great reminder that a clean pit stop is not over until all cars are back on track. And that applies to this next pit stop too. 
Valdere Bottas was driving for Mercedes in the Syrian Grand Prix in 2021 and was doing a practice pit in FP1. Everything had gone smoothly, so he pulled out of his pit box as normal. But when he drove back into the pit exit lane, he completely lost control of his car and spun in the pit lane. He narrowly missed some of the mechanics from other teams who were standing at their garages in what could have been a very dangerous incident. The McLaren mechanics helped him get facing the right direction again by giving his Mercedes a push. It's not often you see cars spinning in the pit lane, so this was as confusing for everyone else as it was embarrassing for Bottas. And speaking of embarrassing, Lance Stroll had his own moment just a year earlier in the 2020 Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix. Stroll was driving his pink Panther, or should that be pink Mercedes, into his box for a pit stop when he got it all wrong. He completely messed up his braking, missed his marks, and drove straight into the front jackman. He was sent flying backwards and fell onto the ground, and even rolled over in the process and hit his head. Now you know why they wear helmets. The jackman was clearly shaken up, and was seen being helped back into the garage by his Racing Point teammates. Speaking of embarrassing pit stops though, it literally doesn't get any worse than this one right here. The German Grand Prix of 2019 was an all-time classic for a few reasons. Heavy rain, absolute chaos on track, and most of all, this hilariously bad pit stop from Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton damaged his car at the pit entry, forcing him to pit at the very last second. When he arrived at his Mercedes garage, the team weren't ready for him at all. He had a broken front wing too, which the team didn't know, so they were left scrambling for the tools to change it. Once they did, they realized they didn't have the correct tires ready either. To make it even more comedic, Mercedes were celebrating their 125th year of competing in motorsports, and all the mechanics were all wearing old-fashioned fire suits. It was definitely one of the most uncoordinated pit stops in F1 history. To be fair to Mercedes though, there's a lot of pressure in an F1 pit stop, and when refueling was allowed, teams had even more on their plate when servicing a car. Take this pit stop of Esteban Tuero as an example. He had a disastrous home race at the 1998 Argentinian Grand Prix because his Minardi team weren't prepared for the pit stop at all. There was a huge mix-up with the tires. They didn't even have them on the correct side of the car, and then they realized that they were missing the front right tire as well. The mechanics scrambled around frantically, and when the car was finally ready to leave, it could barely drive away. Talking about massive confusion, Mercedes put on another dismal display during this pit stop at the 2020 Sakir Grand Prix. George Russell was standing in for a sick Lewis Hamilton, and Mercedes decided to double stack him and Valtteri Bottas under the safety car on lap 62 of 87. They gave Russell a pretty slow stop, and it turned out that he got fitted with Bottas's tires, so he had to pit again the following lap. Still, it was nothing compared to what they had in store for Bottas. When Valtteri pulled into the box, his stop was even worse. They changed his tires, then they realized they were the wrong set, so they had to put the same tires back on that he came into the pits with. This massive mistake meant the stop took 27 seconds, and Bottas still didn't even have new tires. We're gonna go back in time a bit for this next pit stop, and it's one of the most ridiculous ones you'll ever see. Nigel Mansell was driving for Ferrari at the 1989 Portuguese Grand Prix, when he had one of the worst moments of his F1 career. For a start, he almost drove into his Ferrari mechanics in the pits, and then was forced to stop his car in the wrong place. The mechanics were about to pull the car back, but then Mansell found reverse and backed it into the Ferrari box. You might be thinking that doesn't look too bad, but what Mansell forgot is that it was illegal to reverse in the pit lane, so when he rejoined the track, he was shown the black flag and disqualified from the race. To make matters even worse, he ignored the black flag for three laps, and then crashed into Senna and took them both out of the race, and it all came from missing his pit box. 
Another driver who missed his marks was Romain Grosjean, this time at the Spanish Grand Prix in 2015. He was driving his Lotus Mercedes into the box, but when he hit the brakes, he discovered they weren't working very well. At the worst possible time, his car wouldn't slow down and he drove straight into the front jackman. The massive impact lifted him off the ground and sent him flying backwards, in what looked like a pretty painful hit. This next one was painful too, just in a different way. Daniel Ricciardo was leading the Monaco Grand Prix in 2016 for Red Bull and had a huge lead over second place Lewis Hamilton. But when Ricciardo made his pit stop, Red Bull made one of the worst mistakes ever by not having his tires ready. Ricciardo was left sitting for what seemed like an eternity, while the mechanics scrambled around looking for his tires. When he was finally sent back out, he rejoined the track just behind Hamilton and lost the lead of the race and ended up finishing second. It's heartbreaking to lose any Grand Prix because of a pit stop, but when it's at Monaco, it's just so much worse. So there we have it, 20 of the worst F1 pit stops of all time. Being an F1 driver is dangerous, but just as you've seen, being a mechanic in the pit lane can be just as risky. Leave a comment and let us know which pit stop you thought was the worst and tell us if we missed any. Please smash the like button and subscribe for more motorsports content. This has been Racer's Reverie. See you in the next video.